Now, to lose one rocket may be regarded as a misfortune. To lose two looks like carelessness, but Elon Musk's SpaceX company did better with its third in that it got further than the previous pair. Starship, the most powerful rocket ever built, did reach space, but contact was lost as it re-entered the Earth's atmosphere an hour after liftoff from Texas. Their philosophy is test early, break it and learn. Today, Starship soared into the heavens, significantly surpassing the two previous launches. We are feeling the rumble. We are seeing 33 out of 33 Raptor engines ignited. Going further than it had ever gone before, with stunning images as it climbed into space. Oh man, I, I need a moment to pick my jaw up from the floor because these views are just stunning. Uh, before contact was ultimately lost. We did, it did look like we lost Starlink and our Tedris data flow at the exact same time. The Starship Super Heavy is the largest, most powerful rocket ever launched. It produces almost twice the thrust of NASA's new SLS moon rocket, and it dwarfs the workhorses of the past, like the Space Shuttle, Europe's Ariane and Russia's Soyuz. Starship is approximately twice as powerful as the Saturn V rockets which put men on the moon during the Apollo landings. One day, it might not only put humans back on the moon, but also Mars, realising Elon Musk's ambition to make us an interplanetary species. But there is a long way to go before that's a reality. Rapid, unscheduled disassembly is how SpaceX has euphemistically described previous explosions, celebrated as part of an aggressive culture of pushing the boundaries to learn and improve. This story has just begun. We have 60 years of human spaceflight. Those were all baby steps. We're now starting to get into a stride. Ship continuing to look nominal with its Ascent burn. The data gathered from today's launch is still being studied. But already it's being hailed as another step towards mankind eventually colonizing planets far from our home on Earth. Dan Rivers, News at 10 in the United States.